Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity to the location. We have Hoteran starting at... Actually, it's... No, okay. I'm going to stick with this as the Grey Terran, bottom left-hand corner. We have Urbmon starting as the Mustard Zerg. I'm not sure whether this is going to be an Urbmon victory or not. Looks like it's on Neosilphid. I think that's right. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Urbmon is going to be at New York LAN, and he is, first of all, amazing Zerg player. He's actually my pick to be maybe the dark horse of the tournament. He might surprise some of the higher level guys. Uh, I could see him going pretty far if he can play up to his capacity. So, really, uh, right now he's around the 1900-2000 MMR range, but he's got really high APM. He's a pretty intelligent player and has some very creative builds. Terran is his weakest matchup, though. He's very, very strong against Protoss, has some very fun versus Zerg, and tends to actually have very, very solid versus Zerg. Unfortunately, I think the Zerg at the tournament are going to have a tough time all the way around. Gypsy's an absolute Zerg killer. Artosis is an absolute Zerg killer. Jayun has the best Zerg versus uh, Protoss versus Zerg, maybe in the foreigner scene altogether. Um, Dewalt and Bonneth probably better, but Jayun's up there. His versus Zerg is extremely strong. But anyway, see what Urban does in this match overall. He does uh, versus Terran. He can get frustrated, just especially because he will play more towards the defensive style. And in that defensive style, have uh, a lot of frustration, I think. That's what it comes down to. Hoteran, I don't know a lot about. By the way, this is from Gosu League, the previous season of BSL. So, sneeze commentary, excuse me. I believe Veer initially casted these games. Hoteran's going to check out that bottom right-hand corner first. Herbmon went for, it looks like, the 11 or 12 hatch. And he's going to go ahead and sneak a drone out. Let's see if he goes for around the two minute or so gas. Looks like he's going to go... So he's got the pool. Is he going to go for gas? Looks like he is going to in fact go for the gas and pretty quick gas going to go for probably a two hatchery opener with this. Hoteran's now getting that scout end around. The drone able to wander up and see an empty natural expansion. So it wasn't going to be straight nexus but the barracks just finishing. No gas up for Hoteran. And no initial marine. It looks like he does want to just go one racks into expansion upon seeing. Unfortunately, Urban not able to sneak back and get any damage done. Interestingly enough, drone's not on gas. So the extractor up and actually losing that tick of time is pretty significant, actually. That can delay me. So it's really a few seconds game. And then finding the right pocket, just diving into the Terran base and finding the right pocket, oftentimes with the two Ash Mutals play. So losing a bit of time there can hurt and also it looks like he pulled off maybe a drone or two distraction to spit spit at that SCV's face. Natural expansion is up. Supply depot being placed on the front to create a bit of clutter. It looks like it is going to be two racks opener here from Hoteran. So two racks into gas rather than some of the more popular builds these days like the one racks opener. Sorry about these colors. They're a little bit hard to differentiate. It's interesting that gray and this mustard yellow are so close, but four Zerglings out, trying to chase down that SCV. It looks like one is going to, maybe one was going to split off. Actually, a lot of Zerglings here, six Zerglings. Certainly going to be able to shut down Ariat the Natural. But that layer about halfway finished. Should be a solid defense for Hoteran. Usually with this, this is a very safe, solid build. You get that Academy up, you get a few Medics out, you can pressure that front. And don't... Oftentimes have to worry about getting overwhelmed unless there's some spectacular mutilus micro. Overlord pocketing over that edge wall, maybe to get some turret information overall. Zergling speed going to come online. A second SCV floating out. I don't think the Overlord quite in range to spot it. And the Zergling's making midfield. So this SCV actually taking the Securitas route around should be able to get good information. Is actually going to see a second extractor drop down. Which suggests it's going to be a maybe an either an all inish mutilus play, especially just off the two bases here. But basically, Urban going for a little bit more rapid gas still hasn't decided to grab a third base as of yet. The Zerglings also critically, Urban doesn't have an Overlord quite on the front yet to see that move out of the Marines. The Medics are already being produced. Stim is about halfway finished, and a Firebat's being produced amidst this, so he's going to need to respond right this second. 
to get at least two sunken colonies down. And honestly, I don't know that they're going to be in time with this. Because this overlord at the far edge didn't didn't see anything happening. And also, the zerglings being slow to end around. And with that fire bat and that marine, I don't know that this is going to send some troops back. So a little bit of a cutoff route. Ooh, getting pinned. They weren't on attack move. Yeah, no hesitation. I don't know that these two sunken colonies are going to be sufficient. So this is going to be a very fast one. Spire going to finish. Hoteran noticing able to get up the first sunken colony finishes but with the zerglings in the main and not there to support the drones having to pull off the line try to defend but this looks like it's going to be a Terran win off so here i'm seeing herbs one i wish i could find the replay that where they're having this incredible victory honestly to start but it's not maybe not over mutalisks are no it's over overlord's going to go down probably two overlords maybe the hatchery by the time these mutalisks take flight and that's going to be game and that's Ah, that shows you the importance of getting that overlord or some sort of scouting on the front to see that marine move out. So the Mutalisk's now out in the field, but uh, yeah, Hoteran looks like he's going to take game one for sure. I do want to say in Urban's favor that the previous, the previous series, or the, I should say the previous season, he actually went pretty deep in uh, Gosu League, but I'm hoping he'll be in good shape. Getting caught off guard by the quick push. That was solid on Hoteran to note. I feel like I'm getting bad luck with a lot of these replays I'm choosing because I'm choosing, unfortunately, losses over wins. So I'm like, I'm going to hype the guys up by showing them getting crushed. Go figure. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thanks for listening.